Hey guys, it's Mary, and I am sad to say that another great auto ship has come to an end. This is the last of the, I think it was called Flower Shop, um, Finishing School. Um, and this particular one is called the Garden Fountain Craft Box. Um, these are so fancy. It's not something that I would do all or send out all the time. You know, this is for like special people that would really appreciate the ornate uh, feel of Anna's products. Um, but I, they've just been, they've just been real pretty. So um, I'm a little sad, but I've been looking forward to this fountain because the other one was the flower shop and then there was the flower cart and wishing well last time and now it's the fountain. So um, let's take a look. And as always, um, comes with the instructions. Garden Fountain Easel. So it looks, uh, once you do the first one, they're all basically the same. Um, the easel back is really simple the way she does it. So, um, so, all right, so let's go straight to the die first so let's let me take everything out and we'll go backwards and pack the box back up all right so look at how huge this is this fountain is oh my it is six and a half inches tall so it's definitely a five by seven card but the rest of them were two and um four and three quarters so it's um, definitely going to fill up a five by seven envelope so look at how beautiful that is so that's the fountain and then this is the easel and it looks like this is a um plant stand with um, like a philodendron or something so um, so that's the die and then of course we've got the um, gold paper or cardstock which is, I think, six by eight. And then her fancy paper. Now, the good thing about her paper is that it's double-sided. So there's usually a simpler pattern on the back. That's going to be nice with the words. See, a kind of a softer, simpler look, which is nice because not some of these are just a bit much. And then the envelopes. And then we've got the banners. Just a note, happy birthday, brave, all kinds of different ones. And then the mass quantities of different flowers. There's lots of roses in this one. Those are different than the other ones. And the nice thing is that you can mix and match the flowers, um, you know, between the four different uh, bases. And then scrolls, gold leaves. And then your 
stopper cards. So these are the ones that she uses down here uh, as the stopper. And they're in coordinating colors. We got the pink, we got the like cherry. So a nice um, selection of flowers and papers. And besides, you know, mixing and matching your flowers, you can do the same thing with your background paper. So she uses the background paper here as your base, which is good because since it is busy, you don't see you don't see a lot of it because it's covered up, you know, by the fountain and everything else. So So that's it. Like I said, I'm a little sad that it's come to an end, but we've got the four different different things, so um and lots of pieces that you'll be able to make lots and lots of cards. So I have been happy. I don't buy Anna Griffin all the time because she's a little ornate for my taste most of the time. Um, but I do really love these and I'm glad that I picked it up. Um, and I'm a little sad that they're coming to an end. So, um, so let me know in comments if you picked these up. And if you um, have been making them, I've made the first two, but I haven't made the wishing well, or obviously this fountain yet. So you can see those other videos if you wanna see uh, um, the, other, the other sets. So um, I think they all sold out, or the original sold out, but I'm not positive. So, but it's been a while. So, so let me know in comments if you picked it up, if you've uh, made them all, if you uh, enjoyed uh, them. Um, yeah, I'm a little sad. So, all right, so that's it. Anna Griffith, Finishing School, Last Auto Ship, Garden Fountain. So, um, so, um, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so very much. If you haven't yet, and you're thinking about it, you can hit that subscribe button. And then if you hit that bell, it will send you notifications when there is a new video to watch. There's also the very important like button. So if you, if you're on anybody's YouTube channel, especially a small peon, um, you know, people, uh, that are, have little channels that are growing, uh, that like button is super important to us. So if you don't mind hitting that, if you like a video uh, when you're watching anybody's um, YouTube channel, hit that button. Um, it's that bell. So uh, there's also a share button now, uh, which makes it super easy if you want to share it with a friend um, instead of you know trying to find the link and then directing them. Um, it's super, super easy. So, all right. So that's it for this one. Um, we're almost ready for Thanksgiving. Um, I can't believe the year is almost over already. Oh, which reminds me, Advent calendars, December 1st. I've got three of them this year that we'll be opening every day and comparing. I've got the Crafter's Companion, the Spellbinders, and Brutus Monroe. Bruce Monroe's only 12 days. I don't know why, but that's it. So, um, so yeah, um, I can't wait to start opening them up and see what goodies are inside. Um, so that's it for now. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.